In this video, I'm going to answer the question of why use Prometheus. And maybe you've heard Prometheus mentioned before, or even recommended by somebody or some internet site. To enable you to make the best decision on whether to incorporate this tool into your software and infrastructure, I'm going to address firstly, why do we need monitoring in the first place, so that you can understand what problem Prometheus is trying to solve. Secondly, I'll cover why Prometheus is such a good choice for a monitoring system and what functionality it offers. And if you've accidentally stumbled into this video looking for some completely different kind of Prometheus, I'm sorry. There will be no references to Greek mythology or indeed an enjoyable but nevertheless forgettable 2012 sci-fi movie. So let's get right into it. Picture the scene. You and your development team have been working flat out for months to build an amazing new internet service to catapult your small company into the big time. This new application is going to be a game changer in your industry. No one else is doing this and your customers are going to love it. Come on, even your grandma is excited about it. The go live day arrives. As far as you and your team are concerned, everything has been tested and no issues are expected. The big boss gives the go-ahead to make this live. The service is opened up to the world. Fantastic. No errors are coming through in the logs. Relief. Only problem now is that the big boss is asking all kinds of questions. He wants to know how many people are using the application and whether it's meeting the agreed service level agreements. Someone scratches their head and thinks about whether they can get this information from the logs or the database. Probably not. Damn it. As the user traffic increases, someone from customer service reports complaints are starting to come in. The service is hanging or returning errors to the customers. What does this mean, they ask? You check the logs again. This time it's full of errors. So many, in fact, that it's difficult to understand how many there are and of what different types. You get together your team in a kind of American football style huddle and start asking some questions. How many users are using this service? How many requests is the service getting per second? How many of those requests are returning errors? What's the average response time? And even, are we sure that the service is actually running? Nobody has a clue. Without answers to these questions, it takes much longer for your team to find the cause of the issue. Pizzas are ordered and you all work into the night. After hours of trawling through the logs, you figure out the issue and implement a fix. One line of code that was throwing errors and causing slowdown. As the issues die down, you recall a conversation with someone, somewhere, about monitoring your application. You can't help but feeling, if you'd had instant feedback about how your application was behaving, you would have identified the issues within 10 minutes, not 10 hours. Is that even possible, you think, as you take a last bite of cold pizza? How would that work? Are there any tools to do this? You guessed it, the answer is yes. Prometheus is designed to solve exactly these problems. As well as helping us to better understand how our applications are behaving, it can also report on things like server resource usage, how databases are performing, and much more. To explain how Prometheus can help us and how it works, we'll focus on the application use case in this video. We've already seen what kind of troubles you can get into if you don't know how your application is behaving. Prometheus is a service which handles gathering, storing and querying metrics, in our case application metrics. And as you might already know, metrics are measurements taken of something within our application that changes over time. Some metrics might be a count of the number of error responses or the total amount of time an application has spent servicing requests. Prometheus works in three stages. Firstly, it pulls metrics from an application which exposes them in a specific format that Prometheus can understand. This is typically on an HTTP endpoint. So how can you do that? Well, it's actually a lot easier than you might think because Prometheus provides client libraries for most popular programming languages. This makes it simple to record things that happen in your application. And the client libraries can also handle exposing their metrics in the correct format over HTTP so that Prometheus can pull them. Integrations with popular frameworks like Spring Boot are also available, giving you a ton of metrics out of the box without any extra coding. 
The second stage of how Prometheus works is that it stores that data that's gathered from your application in its own custom database. At frequent intervals, Prometheus will keep going back to your application to get more metrics, which will again be stored in the database. This builds up a detailed picture of your application behavior over time. The third stage is where the real magic happens. You can use Prometheus to ask questions about your application using a query language called PromQL. If you ask the right questions, you'll get back insightful data which can be used to diagnose issues or make informed decisions about how you can improve your application. Prometheus even has graphing functionality to better visualize how your metrics change over time. If you want to make your office look like a NASA launch center, you can create beautiful dashboards with a visualization tool such as Grafana, which has direct integration with Prometheus. You may not be launching a spaceship, but for your team and company, whatever software services you're deploying are just as mission critical. Consider some of the burning questions that get asked on a frequent basis about your application, but aren't easy to answer. Answering these questions in an automated and repeatable way could be the first use case for your journey into Prometheus. You can find details about how to set up Prometheus and publish metrics in these follow-up videos. Thanks for watching and a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. And see you in another video on Tom Gregory Tech.